First Alert 5 weather. And it is still snowing across the springs. Slick and slow is the main screaming message. We've got good bands of snow still falling across parts of the Pikes Peak region right now. That's why we were getting snow at the rate of 2 inches an hour. Southern foothills 8 to 12 from Walsenburg to Trinidad. Around Kuchara, you could get anywhere from 9 to 16 inches of snow by noon tomorrow. Reaching from the bottom of the Great Plains up to nearly 9,500 feet in elevation, the sloping sides of the Raton Mesas in Colorado remain roadless. In bad weather, these unforgiving landscapes become nearly inaccessible to man, limiting hunting opportunities to areas that can be reached with the combination of weather conditions and personal determination. Like your dream western hunt come true right here. Seen anything wild as you. Him and those deer came in 30 yards from me. It's so awesome when it comes together. There he is. To be in this moment right now is like That's pretty awesome. unreal. Absolutely perfect. But we got it done. It's, oh my gosh. Yes, thank you, God. <laughs> The overnight storm and early morning low-hanging fog made spotting mule deer extremely difficult. The storm had brought with it nearly perfect conditions to get mule deer up and feeding longer hours during the daylight. And as luck would have it, before the sun set on the first day, the fog lifted, revealing a big mule deer buck on his feet and in a stockable location. These coolies in here are so deceiving. I mean, these things are like 10, 20 feet deep. Far deeper. It's just this country's hard because of those coolies. Yeah. I mean, they can get down in there. There's water, there's feed, and you don't see them. They just vanish. We got a long walk back. Yeah, we do. Long walk. These are two nice deer, good age, but just not really. Not what we're wanting. No. You know, they're just mature bucks, but yeah. they're they're not the caliber of the deer we saw last night, and not the caliber of deer we know is on the range. Yeah. You know, this would be a last day, maybe a good deer to manage. It's a hard choice as a hunter. You know, do I just go punch my tag on a buck that's a mature buck that either one of these deer are both at mature age and just. We got him in the hip pocket. We know where he's at. Yeah. He's not going anywhere. No. Let's take a look around and see what we can find. And with any luck, you know, we might find something bigger. Exactly.
us one of these big helmets. Box, there, there he goes. Do you even say? Uh, no. There he is, there he is. There he is. Ah. He's on the guy. Hunting in the thick cover quickly becomes a game of hide and seek. And no matter what I do or where I go, the buck wins and he's less than 100 yards away. Gone left. You're still safe. There he goes. The fog began to set into the high country, making visibility nearly impossible. With it being the last day of the hunt, we make a move to the lower country where we had spotted two mature bucks on the second day of the hunt. It's our last night of the hunt and we're back in here uh, trying to put a stock on that management buck. We believe him to be a, about a six year old deer and it's our last night. We're gonna use this coolie right here to try to work up another He's 389. One four? Yes. Johnny, I've got a wide open shoulder shot in his bed. Okay, Christy, if you're owning, take him. That hit him. Just hold on. I'm on him. I'll shoot him again if he stands. Well, you hammer him. He literally flopped a little and the other bucks never got out of his bed. He's laying there. That's insane. I don't think I've ever seen a buck get shot that the other buck doesn't even realize his buddy's laying there dead. It is so foggy now. Within two minutes, I don't know if I could have made that shot right now. Look at the mass on that old deer. He is a massive old buck. Yeah. Double brow tine. That's a, a cool buck. He's a great buck. Yeah, that's a That's a cool buck. That's a nice old deer. His massive body to him. And just I mean, out of the other buck he was with, he was so much bigger than that deer. Yep. And you look at all these deer, these young four by fours out here, and we've passed on them all week long, you know, really hoping for that giant. But you have a buck like this that's, what do you think, he's six years old? He's probably six or seven. I can't get over how big he is. Oh, look at the neck even. Um, he's he's already getting bigger necked. Yeah. He's a much nicer deer than I thought he was gonna be. He's heavier, just giant body. I mean, we've had some close calls on some great deer, but this is a perfect way to end this hunt. Every hunt brings its own unique adventures. The ups and downs found over the course of the week make this one of my all-time favorite mule deer hunts.